Oh boy, it's another film show, The Cinecy 14. So sit back and enjoy the next hour of fun. Good morning, good morning. We're off to the Cinecy 14 in Wildwood, New Jersey. And we're getting close. And are we going to have fun? That's what I think. I think everybody's pretty much there. Let's go. Well, we've arrived. The first group. And they pre-ordered the pizza. Did you pre-order big pizzas for me? We ordered some. We ordered some pizzas. We got some meat on it. We got the got some meat on it. The spread is pepperoni. Pepperoni. That's common. Like, we got sausage. And we got exotic. meatballs. Okay. How about some that? Some exotic flavors, right? Yes, sir. So we got to get ready. The screening. His chairs are set up. He's got the uh, speakers. He's getting them lined up for ultra stereo, right? Yeah, ultra. And he's got the uh, the uh, arc projectors. These are arc. There we are. That is an arc lamp. This is Bell and Howe's last machine before they they close down. So it has a really super bright. And it's push button control rather than the old switch. The original switch used to be here to turn the projector on. And that button changes them over. When you push that button, the two projectors will change over automatically to the next reel. That's the way to do it. I'd rather not sing tonight. And he's getting a uh, film ready. This better be a good one. Bugs Bunny and the Free Bears. That's going to be our entertainment for the night. Shorty is here. He's got a good book already, A Thousand Cuts. Yes, I have now, to get that. It just came I, out. I was trying to find more information, but... What crazy people... But... I'll have to look into that. How's Jason came from Japan. Yes, I did. He it's flew in. How many miles? 5,000 miles? I knew, all I knew is it's about 12 hours from, 12 hours. from Tokyo to New York. And... The plane about is probably traveling hours. about 500 miles per hour at uh, cruising at altitude. Or, did I say? 500. 500 miles. 500 miles. So it'd be about 6,000 miles. Yeah. yeah. And he made it, but it took him two hours from New York to get here. And the question yes. is is it worth it? We're going to have it fun. Definitely. Right? Good. Definitely was worth it. We'll look around and see what there is. Okay, Klaus. Okay. He's just packed. Yep. Well, the arc lamp is warming up. It takes about three minutes for the light to come to full brightness. Between three and four, so the machines are matching. All set. Bugs Bunny and the Three Bears. All set. This movie and the blacking from him, if you want to get that, I might I'm a sport. So. I might do the no, adventures of Sherlock Holmes. There's Snow no White in the face, too. Just save some money for me. <laughs> a little hard to see, but uh, this still has the Cinemascope logo on it. Yeah, this Stooge is, uh, looks like a very nice print. So it's got the old Fox uh, scope logo on the front, you can see. Should I buy it? Are we ready to start? We have a light. Please be patient with my projection equipment if I have issues. But I don't know. I have an announcement. If this stuff screws up, I'll put my stuff. 
Gotta get that bulb out. Well, we got an enthusiastic audience ready to start, and the cartoon better be funny. Well, trust me. Before the feature. This is Whoopi. Well, Captain, stop and pick up a sailor? Yeah, almost had one too, but your mother beat me too. She's got the moves. She's got the mouth. Are you shot? Honey, I know I shot you. One word, and I'm gonna clear your sides. the same room as last year and we got the same spectacular view oh but it's gonna be a cold one today oh wow they had some rain overnight uh, look somebody's walking the puppy oh it's not a busy day today is it on the beach <laughs> it's cold off to breakfast. Ah, <laughs> breakfast. And good morning, sir. Good morning. Are we ready to eat? Yes. Ready to wake up. I'd Any like second. to know where everybody yeah, is. I, I see where is everybody? Where is your really sweet really wife? Really she's... Oh, she's on the way down. Yeah, she's coming oh, down. Oh, oh, oh. I take that back. Yeah, so... Can't wait to eat. I think I've got my up. coat on. Cold. You should go yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cold. Yeah. Actually, everybody left. We're the last ones. Uh, oh, that's not true. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, here we are at the Vegas. It's one of the only diners open right now. Ah, uh, late arrivals. 
I think that's what's going to end it. No. No? No, 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 no. He's going to get it. We're going to get a few more. Well, we're occupying two tables. Well, now we have a full crew. Except we're missing David. Unfortunately, David has decided not to join us. What? Spanish omelet. Yeah. Did, madam, did you have the guafe? No, the guafe was not an option. No option. Those crazy. I regret it. You better have it available tonight. For dinner. Oops, sorry. For dinner. <laughs> oh. Well, people are leaving in Massa. Yep. So we're getting ready to go back to the film vault to open up for the day. Well, we're back from breakfast, and the activity is grand here. It's safe to say we have more projectors running in this room than anywhere else in the country right now. Isn't it safe? Yeah. We got one there. We got one here. He was just had on. That one there. That one. That one. Uploading things. Do they have like. Now here's an unusual piece. Hey, hey! Look at this. We are now seeing the RCA Porta Arc. The Porta Arc. 16 millimeter pedestal amplifier. It used to have carbons in it. And they used to burn, and instead you've adapted it? 28 to 30 amps, and I changed it to LED. So there's an LED light bulb in there. The old arc is gone. Right, well it was originally gone when I got it, so I, I said, let's try LED. 250 watt, 2400 looms. Okay. And it's running through the RCA mechanism. As you can see, uh, it's very quiet. Nice There's the sound loop. So that stabilizes it and makes the sound so it's not jumpy. So it goes through and you can see if I move the, uh, the snubbing reel, that keeps the sound just right. Close the gate, form the lower loop to the guide marker, and pass it over the dynamically balanced sound drum where the sound is picked up. Thread the film under the lower sprocket. There are only two in this machine. Under a damper roller, which helps prevent film breakage. And onto the even tension take up, which adds the ultimate in film protection. This has the fewest touch points to the film. So the film only uh, just touches on the roller, touches in the aperture, and around your snubbing roller in here. So most of the film is untouched. Very good. It's running like a dream. 25 watt amplifier. Yep, here's your sound. Ink filter, which I don't even need anymore, but I'll leave it in there anyway. Yep, that, that, and then of course the, the sound the runs off of that. It's like a high intensity. That's it. That's a lens there, and that focuses the sound into the sound beam. I'm not sure if this will focus in that. But there's a little mirror that reflects. That one can't get a two, can't get real sharp there. But there is a mirror inside. The photo cell is right there. That's a tube. And to change it, you take that off so you can get to the tube. A mirror back there reflects it onto that, that optic and produces the sound. And that's how all the projectors are. Back in those days. But RCA had a uh, had more, it was easier to serve quickly. Right. So they designed this so you could change that tube out right away. And that, this little thing just lights up your threading when they... And when you stop the projector, the dowser closes automatically. Boom. Did you see that? So when he starts it up, boom. In case you left the lamp on, you can burn the film. And? Oh, that's my old. <laughs> that's the old movie Now our movie oldest is coming back. Yeah, I'll bring it back. Next, next trip, I'll bring it back. Uh, and this is the 400, right? This is the 400 projector head. This comes apart. You pull this out. You can lift, lift the lamp house off, lift the head off. Oh, you know what we 
we should show the original. There's the original rectifier. Right. The grid that that's what powered that's what powered these carbons. The, the carbon arc. And one, one's positive and one's okay, negative. Yeah. And when they touch, they start the arc. That's how you manually touch them. Well, that would have been the knob, right? That would have been the knob. That would have been the original knob. Right now, you probably have it just turning the... Uh, well, what it is, it's actually somebody put a fan in it. Oh, lower. it's a fan. I well, don't need it anymore. Right. So that would have originally pushed the arcs together. I think, I think the amp meter was there. And the feed motor was in the back. Oh, this is important. This is the... This the is stack. where... The stack went up here Carbon dust. to take out the, uh, the so it didn't fill the projection room. And it could look at the arc. Right. Carbon. And that, that is a little window where you can actually see. Those carbons touch together. See? It's a screen so you could see the arc and make sure uh, it looked right. That's when you strike it. So when you turn this knob, and the two you could see this arc yeah. strike each other. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good it's idea. The future. The future. Yeah. And then right here is your a seal of approval. Yep. Well, I'd say I'd say, say, say there's maybe five left in the world. I think so because I can't find another one. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to find another one. That's Put this back original. Um, yeah, that would be neat to make it original again. Yes, I would like to. There's the pedestal lamp. All right, look, you can even put a phonograph in there. You can plug a phone away, you can plug a mic in. Tone. No bass, no bass and treble nonsense, just tone. Oh, that's like the tone. The macaroni phone right there. Yeah. Right? And then your film box. Yeah. Well, an amp sound. Uh, anybody and you're using an old Ampro speaker for sound. Yeah, I didn't want to break the ice just didn't want you Too big. So yeah. the only non-original part is... Yeah. <laughs> How about that, huh? Yes. are much smaller, so, so you have less real changes. I met some old friends in Wildwood. It's Bill, and of course the most beautiful Lee in the world, Lee. The, the Sylvester's, and I used to come down here and stay in their house when I had games in Wildwood and all the art in the, uh, we had some hotels, and then Bill also managed Penwood Inn, a bar, on New Jersey Avenue? New Jersey Avenue. And we used to have a jukebox there and uh, a couple of pinball machines and stuff. So I would come down on the weekend, collect all the games around the place, around the different motels, and crash at their house. And I used to bring movies, the 16 millimeter movies there, and run them for their kids. Their kids are now in their late 30s. Yes, Cinderella was one. Had a lot of movies. This is before videotape. So there wasn't the video to the option. So it was just either movies or nothing else. So we, we're, we're just reminiscing. They still live down here in Wildwood. And we kept in touch, fortunately, because of Facebook. Facebook's yeah. a good thing. And we always had a game in our house. Yes, they always had a pack band. What was the other game? Face Invaders. Face Invaders. 
Well, here we are. I mean, it's closed. Boomerang there. The monster truck rides. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. It's closed. No. Stop and get fudge for the white. What should we get at this time? Coconut, Coconut. and chocolate. It's the regular. And chocolate. Let's see what's in there. And look, they're open year round. Remember when we came last year? Well, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> pumpkin fudge. Maybe we should get the pumpkin fudge. Yeah, I think she would really like it. Peter is getting us a pound of pumpkin fudge. Mm. And then we're going to get the coconut too. Tammy said we got to get this pumpkin pie fudge. Now, isn't that cute? Looks Look delicious. at that. Sort of reminds me of that pie that got pushed into my face for my oh, birthday. Oh, you have those in the box. A birthday, oh, and he's got a birthday. Well, we're going to stop for some ice cream. Good. Here's the Wildwood sign right behind you. And it's pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's really good. Is that what you got too, Tammy? Yeah. Windy, but really nice. Well, they're setting up now before dinner. We're getting set up for the evening feature films. And boy, are we going to have some shows. Right? We're going to have some good shows. Right? Yeah, we're going to have some 3D. and uh, so Three dimensions. Yeah. You mean three dimensions. Um, we're, we're going to lose one dimension than the one we're normally in. Oh. And if I may. Okay. Just seeing if that worked. You're, don't, you're supposed to do the Debbie Downer like this. Wah, wah, like that. One, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> He's being funny. Ah, uh, is he being funny? Yes. Okay. So we're we're gonna have multiple projectors too. So there'll be a multiple presentation tonight. There's still some coffee left. Leftover supplies. Are we ready for dinner, gentlemen? Look at this beautiful pool we never got in. Although it's heated. One of our more create courageous folks went in the pool last night. Out of his mind. Because the cold air, gosh, it must be only about 55 degrees now. Whew. But I see the cars are rumbling and getting ready. We are ready to go. that as soon as you saw the name of the restaurant. Ooh, the D. Simone group for 35. And they have us ready. They stuck us in the back corner away from the general populace. <sighs> We're here. 
And we stretch over to the other table, don't we? Now this will teach you a lesson for coming last. Hello, damn you sit friend. farthest away from us. The kitty table. <laughs> this is Cynesy number 14. Thank you. For those who live nearby and for those who came from far away, like Japan. Yeah. And Jason, yeah. There's a joke leading here. Ohio? But, uh, yes, Canton, Ohio. Thank you. Where's Jason, anyway, thank from, you where's Jason from uh, Japan? Jason's back there. Jason, say, wave oh, your Jason. hand. Yes. Jason, just wave. Hey. Uh, Texas? Hey. Texas. Uh, Texas. Uh, Texas. Yes, yeah, yeah. Do that. Right, so it's incredible that this is the 14th time, and we have two people to thank for it. One is Shorty Caruso, who's here. Yeah. And Shorty will kindly say a few words about John Black, who's helped start all this. Oh, listen, John Black was a great guy. He started a great show, but I helped him all I could. So, in his memory, this is to John. God bless you, John, and thanks for a great show. Here, here. Yeah. So, and thank you. Everybody for coming and for being part of the Cynesee family. I mean, I know as it gets closer to it, I really look forward to it. It's like, is it time yet? No, it's two months away. Is it time yet? No, it's a month away. Wait, it's tomorrow. That's like the best part. And we had our biggest attendance at dinner, right? Uh, dinner was 28. We've actually had a little, we've had, uh, we've had a few more. But it's very close. And, but I dare to say that the people here, I think this is the best group we have ever had. <laughs> and I will really, say because I won't say that. Until me. next time. So, exactly. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. It's a time six months from now. So we do I'm that too, don't we? Trying to find my way back. Right. Be careful. An evening of shorts, a go go. Ah, uh, the first movie of the night. Escape from the all-embracing evil of the humans who do his bidding.
control power, he would have been valuable to me. Now your own life is forfeit.
Nice and case, I'll go. Oh, no, you mustn't go. <laughs> Who said I mustn't go? The only reason that I came is so that I could go. I thought, I thought that Hacking Bush, my medical stand, he's very high, and anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Hacking Bush. Hey, Dr. Hackett Bush. I'm Dr. Hackett Bush, to be exact. A matter of fact, I'm Dr. Hackett Bush. I talk. I'm sure we all would like to hear the facts about your great career. Although I hope I hate the blow, there's one thing that you ought to know. I'm Dr. Hackett Bush. My name was standing very high in many ways, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Hackett Bush. I'm Dr. Hackenbush. I'm Dr. Hackenbush. You know what guess, but nevertheless, I'm Dr. Hackenbush. Are <laughs> you able to have done all my charges are nominal? Though I'm great for, I'm a race for, tons of like to me. Sick and healthy, poor and wealthy, come to me. Oh, God bless you, they yell. When I send them home, well, but they never, no, they never send a check to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a claim for Curie Hills, both in the north and south. You'll find my name is like my bills in everybody's mouth. I've never lost a case. <laughs> I've lost a lot of patients, but I've never lost a case. <laughs> My diagnosis never fails. I know just what to do. Whenever anybody ails, I'm sympathetic too. They hardly in the bounce. No matter what I treat them for, they die of something else. When <laughs> <laughs> so you nurse up the rock, put your faith in your doc. On his call, you can always depend. With the possible exception of your mother, a doctor's a man's best friend. A doctor's a man's best friend. Oh, a doctor's a man's best friend. A doctor is a doctor. He's a man's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> right or wrong, right or right, night and day, day and night. On his call, you can always depend. With possible exception of your mother and your father and your sisters and your brothers and your nieces and your nephews and your uncles and your cousins whom you number by the dozen. Yeah. <laughs> a doctor's a man's best friend. Yeah! <laughs> All balance. <laughs> and sustain the last notes. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to do it. So on with the show. Let joy be unconfined. Let there be drinking in the saloons, banging in the harbor. Play. <laughs> yeah! That was great. That was great. Amazing. Who was that? Uh, Is that Crawford? No, I told him everything. Is that Gary Crawford? Jimmy Stewart. It was Jimmy Stewart. Jim Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was John Wayne. It was John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excellent, Gary. Yeah, yeah, best yeah. Jimmy Stewart. Best Jimmy Stewart, Gary. Jimmy Stewart ever. <laughs> so all of the films. <laughs> Yeah.
you say, oh, it's a typical suburban household. Why don't you just go out to Simi Valley and shoot the interiors as well as the exteriors? Based on the uh, number of effects, we'll see why we had to go to Hollywood and shoot the old-fashioned way. We had lots of shots involving complicated setups for stunts and effects. And you just can't go into somebody's living room and tear out the ceiling and tear out the floor to accommodate them. Well, Joe, Mr. Biden, forgive me for 
participating in the lion's den. I, I mean, your privacy. I just had to see you alone. Mr. Batten, I just gotta have more money. I'm going further into the rent each month. I haven't had a new suit in three years. And Alice, that's my wife. She's not well and she can't work. I'm four papers behind in my house. If anyone deserves her age, it's you. Faithful old Joe. Do you know that last month, the Internal Revenue Bank got me for $12,000 in back taxes? I can't even get my country club to go My wife is still wearing last year's makeup. <laughs> if I can't get my loyal employees to take a voluntary cut, then I'm afraid I'll have to close our doors. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Mann, keep the doors open. I'll take a $10 dollar cut. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for me, we'd have had to close our doors. The boss told me so himself. Well, that's just fine, dear, but what about the raise? And he gave me a softer cushion for my chair and an extra half hour for lunch. That's fine, Joe, but what about the raise? I'll talk to you about it when I get home. Goodbye, dear. I'll never be able to go home now. I leave to make my announcement. I'm going to select the new boss right away. Well, <laughs> if you haven't already guessed, you're it. Well, I've already guessed it. I'm not as stupid as you think I am. Why, of course not, Joe. On the contrary. That's why I picked you for the job. Oh, no. That's not why you picked me, you big fat tumble-on. What is this, McDuck's mutiny? Mutiny, mutiny, eagle puss. I've had you tamped for a long time. You never fooled me for a minute. You crook. What? Smuggler? Yeah, what? Uh, for years I've been the underdog in this office. You're through giving orders from behind that fat desk of yours. And nobody's going to replace you. Because when you're gone, you're going to be doing all the work yourself. Take him away, boys. Now watch him, he's got a gun. Take your hands off of me. <laughs> you will pay for this, big Ah, yeah, well, I'll tell you something else. I've known all along that you wear a cost. <laughs> isn't here anymore. I'll take the message. Ah, uh, take this down, Miss Baxpacer. Mr. Jones wants him to know he's feeling better. And he'll play the part of the chief smuggler tonight at the lodge. He'll stop on his way down and pick up the cab pistols. Okay, I've got it. You bet. Cab pistols. Smuggler. Lodge. Oh, I get the bosses. <laughs> Dear Alice. Nothing very much has happened since I wrote you last. Tension, tension! Element Marcelo, dépêchez vous bouger! C'est la guerre, c'est la guerre! Coming into Tokyo is always a big surprise. Well, let's see how many made it to the end. We have a few hardy souls. Just a few hardy souls. Don't you want your glasses back? I guess I should put my glasses on, huh? I'm here. I can Jason's sleep on the plane. still here, yeah? Jason she can Howell sleep on the plane. Sleep on the plane. He's got a... We had a 3D movie, too. So, it was quite an adventure. Thank you, gentlemen. <sighs> Up to the elevator. Oh, my... Are going to go skinny dipping? No skinny dipping tonight. To bed. I am tired. It's 1 a.m. Is it? Yeah. This one. Uh. Oh, what a beautiful morning. So quiet. There's just virtually nobody in sight, although I see somebody's actually driving on the beach. I'll use the mega zoom.
very little activity. And it's actually pretty pleasant. Oh, there's Gary. There's Gary. He's getting ready for breakfast, too. <laughs> Let's go down. Well, are we ready for breakfast? We are ready for breakfast. There's not a big crowd of us. He's finally come back to eat after last night. He's still not <laughs> uh, Now, are we going to do the buffet? There is no buffet. We're going back to the oh. There is no place. There ain't no place. Gary, no buffet. No buffet. Everything's closed. <laughs> Maybe we can break in. Maybe next year. Oh, yeah. Look how barren the beach is. Jason, are we the first people? It looks like we we are. beat everybody here. Back to the Vegas. Our last meal together. After last night, what do you think? They want to make sure. Gentlemen? You're not going to show it. No, please don't. By the way, any highlights, guys, from last night? Any favorites? Gary Crawford doing Groucho. Okay. Definitely the highlight. By the way, that was this man right here. That was the low line. You didn't think you had it in him, huh? <laughs> well, he did warn us, or tell us, he was going to do something special. Uh, now, now, look here, we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 35 millimeter, and it's low fade, and 70 millimeter IMAX. I don't know who that guy is. It's uh, Harry Potter. That's Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not Harry Potter. It's one of the professors. One of the professors. Uh, professor from Harry Potter. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. And you know how rare it is to find a low fade Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a beautiful print. It looks like it's new. Is this uh, Jeff? Is this print new? I never read Harry Potter. Oh, it's definitely Harry Potter. It's, the, it's part one, I think. Oh, we got to show you something. When the films are shipped to the distributor, Texas Chainsaw is 90 minutes. But real five is real short. And all it is is the end credits. Yeah, pretty much credits. I think the last thing they put in is in the end credits. Why couldn't they put this on the other rail? He don't have to. If we send something to Marco, send him the disc, and I'll ask you. You guys had a good time on Cinese 14, and maybe you can join us in April for Cinese 15. Good night.